This is a walkthrough on Contabilize new media player support. Uh, just going to walk you through the basics of how to use one, how to hook up um, MIDI routes from them, audio routes, uh, load a playlist of files and control them from MIDI, stuff like that. So I'll start by inserting a new media player, which is available in this insert menu here. Now, unlike Contabile 2, where each media player was uh, just one media file, uh, in version 3 it's a playlist. So we can edit the playlist by just double clicking and I'll just go and add there's a bunch of files here that I test with. So we'll just add all of those. That's a mixture of MIDI files, WAV files. Um, there's, I think there's a FLAC file in there and maybe an MP3 as well. Okay, so we just add all of those. Now, we can play that now. We won't hear anything because we haven't routed anything from the media player. So I'll just stop that and we'll start with some audio. So we'll just route from the media player's stereo out to main speakers. Just turn that down a bit. And if we play that now, you see we've got audio happening. Give it the black keys. Okay, for MIDI's it's just about the same. So we can route from MIDI out. Now we need something to synthesize with, so I'll just add a just a piano. Let's close that up. And we'll route from there and we'll select one of the MIDI files. I think I've got some Beethoven down here. Similar sort of thing. Well, good. Okay, so um, using the MIDI player is pretty standard sort of thing. You've got scrubber bar here. Which you can jump around. You can also double click here and end up at a position. So I could jump to say bar 56. And away we go. You can also do it timing based. So if I wanted to go to the two minute mark, which is there, which we'll see if I switched over to uh, real time. You'll see we're right on the two-minute mark there. Okay, good. So you'll notice that I routed from these two output ports. There's a stereo out and a MIDI out. You can actually customize these. So you might want to create um, a second output port. So let's say we put a, um, let's say we had a tick track or something. And it won't be stereo. Let's just make it a single signal. Okay. And then what we can do is we can go back into this playlist and let's just pick this file again. If we edit this, you see we can create assignments between uh, the audio files channels and the ports that we want to use. So if I just add another assignment now from channel 1 and I'll assign it to the tick track signal. Okay, okay, okay. If I select that file and create an assignment. I can go from tick track to, let's just route it to the mouse, metronome. Turn these ones off so you can just see. You can see we've now got just the left channel going out to a completely different port. You can do the same thing with um, uh, MIDI ports. So I'll just edit this. So let's um, rename that one to say piano and add another one. Let's call it sax. Okay. piano to there, and we'll just add another one from sax, and we'll add a sax plugin. Close that up. Turn that DSL. And then if we go back into here, back into the playlist editor, so we've got our file here. So let's say this one. If I edit this, I can change this assignment to track two to go to a sax. Okay, okay. Okay, if I play this file now, if I select it, so we've got the sax coming out here. If I turn the piano on, so we've got the piano and sax both going to separate instruments. Okay, pretty simple. Um, what else? Okay, all of this stuff is controllable by uh, via um, session states. So if I select here, so if I just create a couple of states, let's just call them song one and another one, song two. And let's say song one, we want to use fitted oils. And song one, we'll leave on that guy. So we can now switch between those. You see it'll pick a different song. Um, it can also control things like gain settings. 
So clean that one up. So that's pan and fade, playback speed, all these sorts of things are controllable. So just on the playback speed, currently we only support um, adjusting the speed of MIDI files. So if I play that again, you'll see I can ramp this up. For audio files, uh, the speed doesn't work yet, but it's coming, I hope. Okay, um, the other thing which you might have noticed here is when these files are playing, the uh, transport's position up here doesn't seem to be shifting. It's because we have a concept of a master transport, which has got this new picker here. Um, so if you want your timing information to come from the media player, if you've got plugins that are trying to sync to it or whatever, you can select that here and you'll see that when I play this now, the timing information tracks with the media player. Okay. Now for audio files, uh, you, we need to tell it what the timing information is. MIDI files, it picks it up out of the MIDI file, no problem at all. You see I've got a couple of files here, um, just a couple of drum tracks. Um, if we look at this one, you'll see the tempo set to 130. Contabulate will automatically pick that up from here in the file name. If it sees something followed by BPM, it'll, it'll automatically set that. If it hasn't got that, you can just type it in. You can also set your own time signature if you want. And you'll see if I pick that file, so that's the 131, and play that. Turn this to the center. So I'll just do that again. I'll just turn the uh, metronome sounds on as well. And you'll see. So that's all synced up. Okay, now at the moment there's no support for syncing a media player back to another source. Um, that's coming, I've left it out for now because I, I want to get a bit better understanding of how people want to use this and uh, was never really happy with the way it was done in the previous version so I want to, I want to clean that up. Okay, uh, what else have we got here? The other thing you might want to do is um, MIDI assignment. So you can, ass you can control these media players remotely. So I'm just going to add a MIDI assignment from the on-screen keyboard. Let's get this out of there. Okay, and I'm going to just say a um, controller. And let's just use controller 10. And the target will be the media player. And we want to say toggle play pause. Toggle. So if we switch back to here. Now I can simulate a CC being sent with the on-screen keyboard quick controller. So if I just do 10, which is the MIDI controller we choose, shows and say send that as a CC, you'll see it's toggled it. I'll do it again. Okay, so you wouldn't normally do that this way. Obviously you would use a CC button out on your actual uh, MIDI controller. Um, we can control pretty much everything about it from here. So we could do uh, another one. We'll set this one up, say 11, and we'll assign that to, uh, say, the next file. If I go back to here now, um, you'll see if I do 11 button, we jump to the next file. So we jump to 14 again. Okay, you could do the same for the other way, etc. There's a few things here you can control remotely from MIDI CCs. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Um, Certainly there's some things that are missing, um, specifically uh, syncing, syncing the timing of these files to another transport, and a few other bits. I've left out looping and play ranges as well for the moment. Um, they'll all be coming back, but I want to make sure that the, it's done in a way that's actually useful. I think um, previous version it wasn't as good as it could have been, so I'm, I'm hoping to fix that up. So. Oh. So there you go, that's the, um, that's Contabulo's new media players. Enjoy. It's all available now in the latest preview build, um, preview 6, which was released just today. Thanks. See ya. Bye.